Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a collective summer haul, sharing with you some pieces that I'm very excited about. They are all coming from different stores, different brands, so I'll make sure to share with you exactly where I got it. Most of it is online. I'll share with you what size I got and I'll also make sure to do a try on for you. And just for size reference, I am about five foot two. Hopefully that helps if you're looking to purchase the same item in comparison. If you aren't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I am going Going to be featuring a lot of these outfits on there as well. Let's kind of go ahead and start with what I'm wearing right now. So this top isn't new. If you've seen my Hawaii vlogs, then you'll know that I wore this in Hawaii and Maui. It is We Wore What. I do get a lot of questions on this top. That is where this one is from. It's actually a workout blouse. It's not meant to be a top. All right, and then I really want to start off with these bottoms because I want to feature it in a lot of the blouses that I'm going to be trying on. Okay, so these are the perfect 90s jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch. I absolutely love the wash on these colors. They were all sold out online and I was lucky enough to find my exact size in stores which is a size 4 and the short length. I don't think the camera lens will pick up the full full body but it definitely has a more relaxed look and I really like the look of having baggy jeans and then like a really tiny top and I'm just wearing it with these heels but the length is perfect even with sneakers. I am a little bit worried I'm going to have to get them hemmed just because jeans do stretch out over time so as you can see it's a little baggy already and it's fine now but I'm just concerned that it's going to get even baggier over time but it's fine. Nothing a hem can't fix or an alteration and here's what they look like up close and I actually really love that the back doesn't have the huge Abercrombie and Fitch logo right here it's taken off so I'm going to start off with Shein because every girl knows Shein I admittedly have only shopped at Shein one other time and it was for a bikini and it was nice it didn't fit me perfectly the material definitely wasn't the best I really kind of wanted to try out Shein for some more trendy pieces because I feel like why spend a lot of money on items that might go out of style within the next year or two so this is a blouse that I actually saw on Aritzia and they were selling it for like $60 and I found it on Shein and it was so much cheaper obviously and it's just this black chiffon peplum blouse that ties in the front so I'd probably wear like a nice lace bra underneath it. Yeah, I just thought this was really nice for the summer to wear on a night out or you can even wear it out to a nice dinner. This one is very pretty, very cute. I would for sure have to figure out some type of bra situation up here. So yeah, very cute. They have this in the color white on their website as well. Next up, I have a more fun top. This isn't really something I would normally get, but I just thought it would be fun to do something different. It was so cheap. This top was probably $7. And it's just this pink top that kind of has the same chiffon material and it just has these really pretty flowers on it. You get what you pay for, but this just didn't fit me perfectly. I might have to wear like some type of special bra just because it does fit a little big on me, which is a little strange. I think I got this in a size medium or small I actually think this is a small so it looks really cute on I probably wouldn't wear it anywhere super nice but yeah this is another one I got from Shein here is the top on and as you can see it's just like kind of big up here which I feel like is a problem I normally don't have I do think the lacing is really pretty but it does just feel kind of flimsy I feel like this is just like a top I would very casually throw on underneath something or I don't know, maybe just like to go to the beach, but it is very cute. It's just that the quality isn't there. I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this just itself. Okay, next up I have this like sarong wrap top and I actually really like that you can wear this several different ways. So I'm pretty confident that like the style it comes in or that you're supposed to wear it that is going to fade out really fast. I still think it's very cute, don't get me wrong. It's being worn so much that it's just going to not be the thing next year. But I like this top because I don't have to wear it that way. I can wear it as like a tube top. Top, um, and just kind of tie it around that way. I could even fold it around this way and tie it in the front. So I think there's a lot of versatility with this top. Okay, so this is that floral top just as 
a bandeau which honestly i trust this like this is supportive it's secure this is how i personally feel most comfortable wearing this top i'll share with you the way it's supposed to be worn which i don't really trust okay so this is the blouse as advertised on shein where you can see what i'm talking about there's not a lot of trust to be placed in this blouse right now my friend told me that she put double-sided tape on the blouse but even that's not enough for me i would wear this to some place in this style where there's not a lot of movement or just anywhere this top could go wrong and expose me up next from shein i have this like pastel easter yellow looking flannel it's really simple it has white buttons it's a button up and the reason i got this is because i was inspired by megan um i think in one of her youtube videos i was watching one of her recent youtube videos and she was wearing a yellow flannel and it just inspired me it looked so cute and they had this on shein for a couple dollars so i was like i'm gonna swap myself this um again the material isn't the best but it's kind of nice just to have this to throw on over a bikini and i actually really do love the color yellow i think it's such a fun color as long as it's not like the really bright kind i like that this is more of like a pastel color very cute i would definitely wear this like over a bikini or like a top like this where it's just like a very small top the material isn't the best feeling i must admit it feels slightly itchy okay the last item i got from shein is probably the one i'm most excited about and the one that i'm happiest with and it's just this denim cropped jacket but what makes it a little different is in the back it actually has like these glittery frayed strings on the back and it just definitely reminds me of like the space cowgirl look that all these pretty girls have been sporting over halloween and i'm actually going to a country concert over the summer and i thought this would look really cute to wear with like a cowgirl hat cowgirl boots i know it's probably super basic and overdone but i love the look so i can't wait to wear it this one was the most expensive item from shein i believe it was 30 dollars but the quality was definitely a lot nicer than some of the other blouses i like wearing my hair down and i feel like with this jacket i might have to wear my hair up that way you can see the fringes in the back very cute you can button the sleeves but strangely i kind of like it open it kind of looks like it gives like a flare at the wrist i really like the cropped length i think that is the most perfect length i can picture myself wearing this with some shorts with the cowgirl hat with the cowgirl boots i actually got cowgirl boots from amazon and i have to return them because they were a little too tight and i just wasn't happy with the actual quality of them okay next up i'm going to be doing sabo skirt sabo skirt i'm not sure how you pronounce it it's an australian brand and it was my first time buying from them i have always loved their clothing but they are on the more expensive side but when i saw this i absolutely it was like add to the cart i want it already it is this cropped floral blouse and i just love the pattern but what i love about it is it has like this unique tie at the top of the neck which just adds a touch i did get this in a size small and one thing i've learned and it's their buffy top but one thing I've learned about Sabo Skirt is their things sell out really fast. And when they do sell out, oftentimes they don't restock. I feel like they have a lot of new and fresh designs that come out. And once they're out, once they're sold, that's it. They just keep coming out with new designs, which is really cool. It's really nice. They do like looking on their website because they always do have new things. So when I saw this, I knew I didn't want to let that opportunity pass. Okay, so here is what this blouse looks like on. I just love how different it is and you don't even have to wear a bra i'm not wearing a bra right now and it has good coverage even with these jeans i feel like it looks so cute it's kind of like up and close detailing of it super feminine very pretty up next from sabo skirt is this gorgeous gorgeous like baby doll puff dress and it's in this really pretty pink color and i just think it's so perfect for the summertime it kind of crisscrosses in the middle here and ties 
and it just has really big puff sleeves. Why I really like this is because it has a corset in the middle which really accentuates the waist and the model who had it on the website looked absolutely gorgeous in it and I was worried about the length because the models are always a little bit taller and I like the way mini dresses look so I was worried but when I tried it on it was the perfect length for me and the name of this dress is the Nairobi dress so pretty I absolutely love it I don't know if they have it still because I know when I went to go double check their website they had sold out on like all the sizes except for one so I'm not sure if they have more but I can't wait to wear this dress I don't know where I'll wear it but it's so pretty how freaking adorable is this dress even just the top of it um, I feel like I stepped back in time or maybe came out of a Disney movie. Let me lower the camera a little bit here. That way we can get a full perspective on this dress. So this is what the dress looks like. And I love that this corset is right here because the dress is puffy, but it cinches in your waist so well. Jumping to another brand. This one is from Lucy in the Sky. I've ordered from them before. They have really affordable dresses in lots of different styles. I actually ordered two dresses from them but the other one that I ordered is back ordered so it probably won't come in for another week or so. I just decided to get this plain white simple dress because I was looking through my closet and I was like I don't even think I have just like a plain simple white dress in here that I wear and um, so this one has a little bit of a flare to it uh, just because it opens up on the sides you'll see when I try it on but I love that it has just strings everywhere I think it makes it so fun it ties up at the shoulders at the waist on the back just love this kind of little print here it has these little cotton balls so the pattern is really pretty as you can see there is a lot going on here. I actually don't have the back tied all the way. This is what the detailing looks like. It kind of opens up here on the side. It sits right above the knee. Again, I'm five foot two. Yeah, and I just love that it has like these very long ties, so it just kind of adds to the design. Now we're on the last last two pieces here i got another white dress from storette so now i can't complain about not having any white dresses always always wanted to shop from storettes i never have and i'm actually very happy i did because i was always so worried about their sizing their sizing kind of comes in like small slash medium or medium slash large they don't do small medium large on some of their pieces so this was one of the items and I was worried that it was just going to look too big on me because the models on these websites are always like five six five seven but this came out to be the absolute perfect length I actually got this for a work party but I ended up wearing something else um, this one was just a little too casual the dress just buttons up all the way and then it comes with an adjustable belt that looks so pretty I feel like this can be worn on like a summer dinner I don't know it's a very classy dress and I can't wait to wear it I haven't worn it out yet definitely will be buying from storettes again I think they have really classy looks on there so this is the one from storettes and the belt it has two loopholes on the sides of the dress for the belt to hold on to and it has lots of loopholes so you don't have to worry about it I didn't button it all the way up just because I'm a little lazy right now I definitely feel like this is me this is the length I'm five foot two and it goes a little above my fingertips I don't know it's pretty short I'm not going to lie so I can only imagine how short it is on those girls who are like five foot six on the website and I'm not sure if they have other colors on their website but I have to say the material is very nice last but not least this one I actually have worn this is what I ended up wearing to my work party and this was a more expensive purchase but I'm so happy with it I would love to wear this in like Europe again or I could definitely just picture myself wearing this to a special occasion again so this is a blazer dress and they had it in one other color black which I was supposed to get 
they ran out but i'm really happy with this color this was another item that didn't come in one size it just came in small slash medium and i was worried about the length how it would fit and it came out perfect the only thing that i didn't like was the cut on the front it just seemed like it covered a little too much yeah, it's just really pretty i got a lot of compliments on this blazer dress 10 out of 10 recommend storettes as you can see this is what i'm talking about i feel like if maybe well there's a button right here that keeps it closed but i feel like if maybe the cut were like this it would be absolutely perfect so the fact that it crosses over this much is just a little bit for me but here is what the dress looks like i like that i felt comfortable enough to wear this to a work event it's not too short um, it sits a little bit above the knee i really love this i would love to keep this and wear it in maybe london or paris here is what the belt looks like it's a very thick belt so i do like that so that wraps it up for my summer clothing haul i do read all of my comments so leave a comment down below what type of video you would like to see from me next if you have any questions on any of the items i'm always happy to answer and until next time i will see you all in another video soon bye